Yo, what's good? People be back. Had to come through on this one, right? Because, you know, I be having a lot of time to ponder on uh, certain things. And this Big and Pac story, I don't know I don't know what happened in these, in these past few years, but this story, to me, had just seemed way deeper than Big and Pac. It's like, it's almost... Uh, because before I just put, I used to just used to put it in that uh, Big and Pac, Malcolm and Martin class, right? And even that, even that, I still don't know the full gist. But the Big and Pac story, there's 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 something, you know. what I'm saying I think I'm, I'm getting to something. I think I still need some filling in. But that Biggie documentary on Netflix, right? That Biggie documentary on Netflix was 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 big because first of all they said in that documentary they said Tupac I mean they said that Big was 27 years old they said that Big was 27 when he died and he wasn't 24 that's that's a big part of the story being 24 versus 27 I know me 24 versus 27 is, is big but if you die at 27 that's that's big you're part of the you're part of that 27 club that's what they say i'm not i'm not just telling you what the buffalo times says not me so and then i heard and then where did i hear where did i heard i heard the same thing about tupac i think that was on that a and e documentary you know so they're like they, they're letting things they're letting things come out that i don't think they you know that people are catching up on if Big and Pac were both 27 when they died, that's something, right? That's something real big right there. But there's a reason why that story and I don't think the Big and Pac story is going to go down. Even if they, even if, even if hip hop goes down 40% in sales, the Big and Pac story will always be 100% because of black people, because it represents black people. And let me go a little further, right? Because in that big documentary on Netflix, her, you know, there's some other information that they threw out there, like how Big used to go back to Jamaica all the time to see his father, see his birth father. I never, ever heard that before. I never heard Big going back to Jamaica in the summertime to kick it with his uh, birth father. You know what I'm saying? This documentary came out in 2021. So, but then it's still up on Netflix. So you know what I'm saying. Please check it out, and uh, but it lets you know some things, right? And, it's, and this is uh, I'm getting to, I'm getting to the point that that what I got to right because Big, from Jamaica. Big is from Jamaica. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, I think Big was was he born in Jamaica in. I think Big was born in Brooklyn, but just used to go back to Jamaica. So Big, but he's Jamaican. He's like Jamaican for real, for real. He's not one of the, you know, VH1 Jamaican. He's Jamaican for real. So, that's no diss, I'm just saying, you know, you know how it goes. But um, Tupac, you know, Tupac in his background. The Black Panther pack background, the the the, the mother beating uh, uh, beating the NYPD in court. Well, 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 trust me, once that is done, you are you are you are on that list. <laughs> you are on that list, and not just that. Your last name being Shakur, then your mother being you know your mother being your mother down with the Panthers. He was on that list. He was on that list for real, from birth. But he's American. Tupac was born in the Bronx. Oh, uh, like, let's 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 also let that be known. Tupac was born in the Bronx. He said it himself. He said, "I'm I was born in the Bronx." And I said it before on a, on a on a live the other day. I said, "Yo, if you're from the Bronx, you are you are special." You know what I'm saying? Maybe special ed, but you are special. And. So, it got me to thinking, right? It got me to thinking because I remember 
how coming up when I'm when I'm a shorty, my um my grandpa, rest in peace, he used to, you know, used to used to call Jamaicans goat heads. It was a thing like he wasn't he wasn't like, you know, I'm trust me, this is in the Bronx, you know what I'm saying, in the Bronx where with a real with a real roster with the dress to the floor, you know, to the ground, dragging and everything like that. Could barely understand them. You know what I'm saying? Though he said, yo, those are goat heads. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm no disrespect. I'm just saying that was his name for them. I don't know that come but him coming from where he came from, they weren't there. You get what I'm saying? They weren't there. So I'm I'm looking at and then I, well and then I'm thinking about my interaction with Jamaicans. Like with Jamaicans, it was always a weird I say mine, but then I look at you know what I'm saying not just mine, but I see, you know, everything what I see across the board. It's like a weird thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like a weird thing of of acceptance. It's like you're not really accepted, you know what I'm saying? Or not it's the all one hundred percent, like seventy five percent. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a distance between you. And uh because they, they got something they can snap their fingers and be in this whole some whole other shit you don't you don't go you don't know nothing about. Right? And with with Tupac, it's like um when he dropped when he dropped hit him up. When he dropped hit him up, that was his that was his version of the bridge is over. Like he said, yo, I'm doing some hip hop shit. I'm dropping I'm dropping this hardcore, hard body diss track on Biggie from New York, from Brooklyn, representing Brooklyn. This is who they re- chose to represent New York. So I'm dropping this hardcore shit on him. He's going to respond to me and we're gonna do this big shit for, for hip hop. We're gonna be like how KRS one and um and MC Shan was, right? But then you see Big, big damn, big damn respond on that. Big damn respond till Pac died. You know what I'm saying? Listen, long kiss, good night is my shit. But Pac was dead. When it, when it dropped anyway. So, but shit, when it, when it was, was recorded probably. But uh, it was a difference in cultures right there. It was a difference in cultures and you see that and you see that in black Americans and you see that in Jamaicans when it comes to beef, when it comes to street shit, when it comes to real shit, the way that things are handled. Jamaicans are not going to jump up and get into your face and let, and let their emotions have control over them and the way they move in that moment. We see that. You know, and that there's no disrespect. We just we we know how the game goes. There are a lot of Black Americans. We're gonna go off of our heart the way we feeling at that moment. I'm feeling it from the heart now, B. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then it's gonna go down. You know. So, so when Big chose not to respond like how Tupac thought he was baiting him into, it was like a difference of cultures. So, I'm thinking. Is it like was the big and pop thing like a Jamaican and Black American thing? You know what I'm saying? Was it the thing between Jamaicans and Black Americans? Is that what it was? Like, listen, fill me in on this, because I you know I'm, I'm piecing things together. I know you know. I know you know more than me, so let me know. Is it was it was it was it because Big is Jamaican and Pac is from from America? It was 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 big a tether of Tupac. Cause Pac said, "Yo, when I when I, I was when I got locked up, soon as I get locked up, your album dropping. You sound just like me. You start doing shit that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna be the mob when we the mob? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that that's that's tether talk right there. Our, our Jamaicans are our, now. Listen, this goes. This is some deep cultural shit." Some deep cultural shit And I'm just asking questions here I got bad love for a lot of people But I do know that there are some Jamaicans With a lot of vitriol for some black Americans I, don't, I do not know the black Americans That have vitriol 
for Jamaicans because we haven't seen them. We haven't seen proof. I've seen the proof on the other end. There's no disrespect, but nobody likes black Americans. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way we, that's just the way we are. That's, that's when, you, when you're the chosen people. So, it's like, um, there, there, there's something deep to this. There's something deep to this. Look at what Tupac went through. And you look at what Biggie went through. I believe one is the tether of, uh, I believe one, you can, you can play the tether game when it comes to Big and Pac. You can say Big was a tether of Pac. Listen, I'm from the Bronx. I, I love Big. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I learned, everything I learned more, the more I learn about Tupac's story, it's just like, holy holy smokes. You know what I'm saying? So, this is something that I wanted to present. I hope somebody could fill me in on this. Was this a Jamaican versus Black American thing? Will we ever see it again? Let me know. Is it true? Did Jamaicans own Black slaves? I don't know. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? But, um... I'm going to go and get out of here on this one.